Hey, remember me? It's Merrill. Yeah, the guy who does those step-by-step uh, -step videos and uh, all that crazy artwork. Um, in this video, I'm going to tell you where I've been and what I've been up to over the past few months, and I'm going to repay an old debt uh, to Terrence from Terrence Animation, who has waited so patiently uh, for his portrait. Um, you saw just a second ago he had his uh, artwork listed on nixnow.com. That was one half of the prize. The other half of the prize is uh, this mixed media painting that I'm doing. So I said it's a mixed media painting and I am using Paint Shop Pro and I'm, I'm going to start out with the photo collage. Uh, this is a really interesting guy. Uh, you should have seen his entry. You could go back, uh, you could go to his channel uh, to see it if you want, uh, but uh, you can tell this is a really interesting person and I think uh, just a traditional oil painting wouldn't really fit him. Uh, so I'm going a little bit crazy. I'm, I'm going to um, put in some of my old characters and I'm going to photo collage um, him uh, as uh, with some of my monks. You'll see where I'm getting at. It's a little crazy now, but you'll, you'll see where I'm getting at. Um, <laughs> so he had this great look on his face and I had to do something with it. And again, I, I didn't feel that an oil painting was, was the right way to go about this. So. All of those monks that you see, um, they were basically um, drawn, but not the traditional way. Uh, the robes, I only drew one robe, and I did that with um, illustration marker and paint marker. And what I did was I scanned it, and I had each one of them in the same pose. So I drew a different head for each one of them, and I just basically put it over the same body. And that's where computers can really make artwork interesting. Um, it kind of gives you a new level, a new depth, more possibilities. I didn't have to spend my time, you know, just basically you know, drawing the same thing over and over and over again for the bodies. Um, now, here is my other, uh, th this was my big investment. Um, it is a, uh, a large format printer that prints onto canvas. I am putting the photo collage that I made of him, uh, kind of the bobblehead, uh, with my drawings, those monks. That, that was once the, uh, the background to my channel. Um, and of course, you got the little old man in there as well. He's kind of my, my uh, trademark. When you have a channel named Kazanji and M, you got to get something memorable. And that's the story behind the little old man. Um, let me also say, um, he, this wasn't intended. He kind of looks like my grandfather. So, so some people say, all right, who's the little old man? I guess it's my grandpa, but um, I don't know. <laughs> um, so anyway, it's printing. And what you're going to see me do is you're going to see me do some painting directly over this. Keep in mind, it is on canvas. That is not paper. So that is directly onto canvas uh, that it is printing on. You don't get the same exact resolution as paint. Um, you kind of get something that is similar, though. There is nothing, in my opinion, that's more beautiful than paint in terms of making color. Um, if you go to a museum, even if you look at the older colors and uh, the fugitive colors, um, color kind of can fade over time with some with certain pigments. But even the ones that have faded, it, it's so much more beautiful than um, you know any photograph that's been made within the past. 20 years, uh, when you look at the surface, when you see the depth, um, you know, photos are just one layer, and I, I like to add uh, lots and lots of layers. I think that's what makes the artwork really, really interesting. So you're seeing me go over it now with um, some more paint marker. Those are handy, handy little uh, art supplies, uh, because they allow you to do edges. And I don't know, maybe I'm alone with this, but, um, you know, paint brushes, they're not always the most accurate things. They're great for mixing colors. You, you can't mix the um, the paint markers uh, as well as you can mix paint. You can mix them a little bit, but the tips get dirty. It, it gets really messy. Um, paint brushes, you can't make the solid lines. You always wind up running out of paint. Uh, paint markers, it's the opposite of that. There's no perfect art supply, uh, but I kind of mix and match. Um, and I really like the digital stuff as well. Um, you know, that kind of helps me as well. Uh, but uh, I'm doing that, and um, I'm, I'm just kind I'm, I'm choosing the areas that I go over. Like, I like some parts of that guy's face. Um, I like some parts of everybody's face. Uh, but the parts that I don't like, that's what I'm going to edit with the paint. The other thing that you're going to see me do is tie everything together with paint. Um, it, it would look kind of choppy um, if you 
just leave part paint and part um, photograph. So you see, I'm going to uh, fill in the background. I'm going to make it a little bit more similar to, uh, um, I'm sorry, not background. I'm going to fill in the floor, and I'm going to make that similar to the background. Um, and that helps me tie everything together. Um, every part is going to have at least a little bit of paint, with the exception of the clouds in the background. And that's okay, because the eye can only focus on one thing at a time, and um, the eye is focusing on all of the figures. And it's okay if you don't have as much detail or as much color um, in the, um, the background. So that's why I'm not touching that. Um, oh, and uh, by the way, this is uh, what I do to people who win my contests. I kind of kill them. I guess he's uh, in heaven. He's like, whoa, who's that person over there? Um, so, yeah, that's what I, uh, that's the uh, story that I made behind this. I, I wanted to make it interesting for a very interesting person who won um, my contest. And uh, Terrence, once again, thank you so much for being patient. All right, now, um, some of you guys might have been wondering, where have I been? Have I stopped posting videos? Um, no, I have not stopped posting videos, obviously. Um, I am a teacher for my day job, and uh, I'm, I'm actually a special ed teacher. Um, I've mentioned that in past videos. I worked as an art teacher for eight years, but um, budget cutbacks, uh, you know, and I have a kid now. I, I, I wanted to keep my job turned out that this job is amazing job. I, I totally loved it. And um, the, the Regents tests, which are huge in New York State, were at the end of the year. And it was my responsibility to um, do the best for my students that I could. So I kind of took a break, four months, but we kicked some serious butt on the uh, Regents exams. And I'm really proud of um, all of my students. So that's where I've been. Um, it's the summertime now. You're going to see me post a lot of videos uh, and, you know, as long as I'm not busy with my day job, you know, I'm going to be uh, posting lots of videos. I've been reading your comments, so thank you for that, and uh, thank you to everybody for the patience. Uh, okay, I will, uh, I'll post some more very soon. Bye.